Hi, this is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial, bringing you more useful tips to help improve our environment. I'm visiting the Flying Trillium Gardens and Preserve in Never Sink, New York, with Carolyn Summers, my good friend, and we are at one of your amazing habitats, a bog. Tell us a little bit about this bog. Well, the bog um, was probably created thousands of years ago when the glaciers left, and they left behind this great big iceberg, which, you know, fell in a hole, and then the hole became this bog. Mm -hmm. And um, it's got some very unusual plants that you won't find anywhere else. So let's take a walk in the bog. It's a little gushy. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of plants that are particular to bogs, and you've got some really cool ones here. What's growing here? Well, right at our feet, we have the pitcher plants, and the pitcher plants, of course, can't grow outside of a bog. They need this kind of strange, <laughs> strange environment. And the pitcher plants are going to be trapping insects. These mm -hmm. are carnivorous plants, and that's what makes them special. Mm -hmm. And the insects will dissolve in the water, and the plant will use those nutrients to grow in what is otherwise a very nutrient-poor environment. What else do we have? This is really cool. Isn't that nice stuff? That's cotton grass. It's beautiful. And we also have, um, well, Labrador tea. There's a big stand of it over there. Mm -hmm. um, the um, sort of pinkish, purplish, um, the one that's changing color over there, that's um, willow herb. And it's not in bloom right now. And, there, and there's, a, there's a bog dog here. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you get one with every bog. And what are these low shrubby plants we're seeing? Sheep laurel. We've got sheep mm -hmm. laurel. We've also got some um, bog rosemary a little bit further in. That's the one that's got kind of a, a kind of a gray cast to the leaves. There's a couple of others that you won't see right now because they're just too nondescript mm -hmm. and too low growing. Like we have, um, we have the vacciniums, the um, blueberries. Cranberries. 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 Yep. There's huckleberries back there. Well, it's really a special place. Thanks for showing it to me. There are some plants that um, are particular to bogs and some that like to live on the edge of bogs. And I happen to notice there's a spruce here. Tell us about the spruce. Well, this is a black spruce. Um, it's an obligate um, edge of bog or bog mm -hmm. dweller. And um, it's pretty rare in these parts. Um, but we have some that are probably quite old, even though they're not that big. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, very, it's a very difficult environment for them to grow in, mm -hmm. so they grow very, very slowly. What are some of the other edge plants that you see here? Well, we have the cinnamon ferns, which you probably, um, you know, you saw all along the walk, and um, they get pretty gigantic. We have um, really beautiful pink azaleas that bloom in the spring, and they have a wonderful fragrance. Mm -hmm. Winterberry? Winterberry, yes. We have winterberry, different kinds of winterberry. We have the small leaf and the, and the large leaf, mm -hmm. and we have nemopanthus, which is mountain holly, which is... Very unusual. Yes, yeah. very unusual, and pretty much re restricted to boggy mm -hmm. type of habitats. Mm -hmm. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful tips, please visit www.ecobeneficial.com.